Greetings adventurers and welcome back to my Skyrim modded journey. Today we are starting out with a mod called Poverty. Uh, you can read about how exactly it does what it does down here, but essentially it allows you to change the amount of categories of items that spawn in the world. Now I believe based on the description it's just placed items and items in actual inventories because it doesn't say like the items that merchants have specifically, but maybe it does too. It's hard to can't tell for sure, but that wouldn't be a deal breaker. Um, luckily it has a Z-Edit patcher. Now, I was going to wait until later on to do this, but it just kind of will affect how, what mods I might decide to use. So I'm just checking it out now and I'll have to remove it and do it again later once uh, we start getting into these Z-Edit and other types of patchers. So I already have, there's uh, instructions over here. And we have the uh, installation instructions here. They seem pretty like it covers literally everything. So we're just going to go ahead and follow it as it says. So starting out with installing poverty. Then we have USBEP already. Double check there's nothing else it says here in Sky UI. All right. Oh, and you'll probably see it in game. But I also added this uh, simple compass widget and the ability to turn the uh, scroll, the compass at the top of the page off. Uh, they were pretty easy. All right, we got poverty installed. Now we need to install Z-Edit, which I haven't before. That's the other reason I decided to... I haven't before this playthrough. Um, and we are installing Z-Edit. Ah, yeah, I do remember this. Okay, and now I've... Uh, you have to make sure you select the right thing and make sure that this folder, especially if you uh, follow the instructions from the very first video and made sure that your Steam directory is not installed to program files times 86, uh, you do have to go in here and probably automatically direct the path to your actual Skyrim Special Edition folder. Um, I guess we'll just minimize that for now. Download the patcher. Poverty patcher zip. Open that thing. Download the poverty patcher. Oh, in the load order. <laughs> okay. Vortex already did that for us, luckily. It put poverty directly after USSCP. Start Z edit in edit mode. Z edit memo, click the three boxes, top right corner, choose install module and click poverty patcher from your downloads. Add all of the quest mods that are not in the compatibility section down below. I don't have any quest mods. Click on build patches in the left hand bar. Build. Alright, looks like we are done. Ah uh, yes. I could have done all that by hand. <laughs> All right, and it says on the directions that that is it. Don't see any kind of save button or anything. Enjoy. All right, now we gotta test it out. Okay, game starts. That's always a good beginning. Ah, uh, yes, that is pretty obtrusive looking by default. I will uh, definitely, but I can't uh, like save it across new saves as far as I know. So, but that's my little compass. You can change it. It has a lot of options for configuring what it looks like and its size and its position on the screen and all that. And uh, like I said, I'm will just be using that. No, because uh, I have this uh, toggle compass power. Oh, all gone. So yeah, I will just have the compass for my playthrough and use whatever map. I assume there might be a map add-on too, but that's not a, a requirement. Um, all right, so we've given some time for all the menus to generate and stuff. Poverty. So yes, this is the percentage that you remove from the world. Now, I haven't given much thought to all the other options, the main things I'm here for. See, I'm confused about this one. Maybe it says something? No, but like, because I assume like potion or poisons you make are potions. And this is referring to like the spider venom that you can pick up off of spiders. Now, see, just getting rid of because I, I kind of do think ju just being too much crap on the menus, like clutter in the world has an aesthetic purpose in the stuff. Clutter in an inventory menu, yeah, it tells you like, oh, this person's a real person who did things, but we assume that already. That's within uh, the bounds of our imagination. So we're going to give a shot to no clutter in the whole game. How about that? I mean, no clutter. Oh, wait, that says hand-placed item, not just inventory, right? Is that going to, like, remove clutter from the world? Well, not. <laughs> okay. Well, as far as I can tell, that removes clutter from the world, which is not what I want. And there might be other things I adjust later if, if they occur to me. 
Uh, but the main things for now, I'm going to do potions. I might just try, like, instead of, because I, 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 I know I'm going to use Complete Alchemy Crafting overhaul, overhaul, which already has the option. I can make all of, there are no instant rehealth or instant potions. They're all, like, either over one, three, or ten seconds, or five or ten seconds, something like that. Um, and that at least makes them more okay for me in the world. And they are part, I would say, of, of the Skyrim world of the Elder Scrolls. So I can try, we'll try out just removing 90% of them <laughs> from it. And we are also going to do that for spellbooks and scrolls. I'm not a big scrolls fan. I'm okay with them. <sighs> Does this remove spellbooks from like the, uh, you know, I guess we should just try. We'll see if that's good spread of uh, all scrolls or not. We'll go to, we'll have a spawn at a uh, winter or whatever. Or no, I guess we'll just go to white run actually. Alright, we are at Falkfire, uh, uh Falkfire, weird. Ferengar, Secret Fire. Okay, well, he's still got his spell books. I don't remember if they sold scrolls or not. Uh, although I noticed they are only the ones from Odin. So it got rid of all of the vanilla ones. Uh, that's, uh, that's this one. I guess I can just, because it's, buying tomes is just for me, and frankly, I don't really care about that as a, a mechanic. So yeah, I think I will just remove them so that NPCs can't have scrolls and I won't see scrolls. Yeah, that'll still be fine. Now we removed 90% of potions from the game. That'll be, uh, make them way rarer, obviously. Got, we, like, think about all the potions you have picked up and maybe all the potions you've skipped picking up in your various playthroughs. And then think about even 10% of that. That's still potentially a decent amount of potions. Like, not if you, like, use them regularly, but I only use them outside of combat and uh, really only for lore uh, purposeful reasons. Oh, you know, see, let's go to the uh, the alchemy store and see how many potions she has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got one poison. I don't really care that poisons are rare, per se. I don't even know if NPCs, like, use them. But yeah, we've got uh, three potions and two poisons. And that's actually technically a uh, animal ingredient, not a poison. Now that I think about it, but this is a poison, and there's only one of them, so I assume that is affected by the potions. Whereas, like we said, the uh, frostbite venom is affected by the animal ingredients, poisons modifier. But yeah, three potions, one of each. Like you know, there's not even the stamina potion. Like I said, I don't use them. And the only one, I don't even care about magic of potions because or stamina because those regen. And I only use potions out of combat. But yeah, I like that now this shop is essentially almost entirely for selling ingredients and stuff for alchemists. And uh, insinuates that making potions is difficult and expensive. Probably too expensive most of the time for uh, your average person. Alright, well that will do it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Love the skin mods they have. Mine! <laughs> I'm sorry.